Hi there, Connect family. I'd love to share a passage of scripture with you that comes from Deuteronomy chapter 33 and listen carefully from verse 26. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 26. There is no one like the God of Israel. He rides across the heavens to help you, across the skies in majestic splendor. Verse 27 says this, the eternal God is your refuge and his everlasting arms are under you. He drives out the enemy before you. He cries out, destroy them. This passage of scripture is so rich with imagery. And that first part in verse 26, where it says, there is no God like the God of Israel. He rides across the heavens to help you. And we can immediately think about the fact that God came in the form of Jesus 2000 years ago. He rode across the heavens to planet Earth, to reach out to you and me, to die on a cross to save you and me from the eternal bondage of sin and death. And Jesus paid the price in full for you, your sin and my sin. It's been paid in full and he has already helped us and reached out and rescued us. And in verse 27, the eternal God is your refuge. What an incredible picture. God is our refuge. He's your refuge. He's my refuge. And not only that, it goes on to say his everlasting arms are under you. They're there to hold you up. He drives out the enemy before you. And uh, this imagery of his arms under you and me uh, reminds me of the time when our children were little. They were just toddlers and we'd play this game and they would be up, uh, up on a ledge or a step and I'd say, jump into my arms. And each time they would simply do that wide eyed and uh, full of smiles and they giggle and they would do it over and over until obviously I got too tired. But here I see again, you know, I, I, my children were so willing to jump into my arms because they were confident, had faith that I wouldn't drop them. And I never did, praise God for that. But uh, this picture tells us that, you know what, we can live big lives for God and confident and be bold in our walk with Him because we know that no matter what happens, no matter what the enemy throws our way, no matter how he tries to tempt us or trip us, underneath are those everlasting arms. You know why they're everlasting? Because God is faithful. His love is continually towards you and me. And he will never, never, not once drop us because he promises that he never will leave us nor forsake us. And we can be confident to know that whatever we embark on life to further the kingdom, to live great lives for God and be a testimony and witness for him, that God is there continually because his arms are under us. And just like our kids would just giggle and glee, you know, this paints the image again that God wants us to have fun. He wants us to uh, not be bondage, to be bound to fear or inhibitions or uh, rejection and doubts and all that. But he wants us to live expansive lives filled with joy and peace because that's what he's given us. He's poured his spirit inside of us uh, so that we can be uh, confident to know that he will never leave us or forsake us. So family, I want to encourage you. Let's do that. Let's uh, uh, do our everyday ministry like we've been talking about this month with confidence and boldness. And I want to pray a blessing on each and every one of you right now. Lord, I pray for my Connect family. May they experience your hand underneath each and every one of them. Lord, their everlasting arms, they would never leave them nor forsake them. But Lord, you would fill them today with incredible boldness, with joy and peace and such an anticipation to see you move in and through them to touch and impact people around them today and this week in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Bless you, Connect family. I'll talk to you again soon.